Hello, my name is Jerome, and welcome to my RC Excavator channel. Today, I'm doing my Volvo E160E electric excavator. And the reason I'm doing this video is when I've got this excavator, I had a ton of problems with it just breaking, the electronics breaking on it all the time. So in the first six months that I had it, I probably played with it two weeks because it was always broken and I was waiting for them to ship me parts from China. So eventually after the last time they shipped parts and they lasted for a day, I ripped all of the their electronics out of the inside and I replaced it with off the shelf receiver from Fly Sky and also ESC controllers for the motor. So I'm gonna show you those parts here today. Removing the back and removing this side. So here you can see inside of the excavator, this being the battery that I used. Right, hot, right here is the Fly Sky receiver that I used. And each one of these is an ESC to control the motor. So this is for the small arm motor. This one is for the left track. Down here we have the bucket, the big arm motor. So all of these wires came in from the boom and they go right into these ESCs. And from that, where I have the battery plugged in, I have a switch right here to turn it on and off. And then coming out of that switch through here, it powers all of the ESCs. So this was great because the ESCs cost from eight to $12 each on Amazon. So anytime something stops working and I have a problem with the ESC, I just pop it out, pop another one in, and I'm on my way to go. And as you can see, I put little connectors on each of these so I know which one to unplug, which one to put back in. And I will show you a picture of it working. Let me put the body back on. Once I modified this excavator, this is the excavator I played with primarily for a year until I tried my first hydraulic excavator, which is the Catalyte K161. But I'm seriously considering converting this one over to hydraulics. Just haven't took time to fire it up yet. This is the first time I fired this one up and close to six months since I've been playing with the Cavalite. And since I've been playing with the hydraulic Cavalite, this one seems to function very, very slowly. But I still like it, so let's do a little digging. And it looks like the battery on it's not charged, so I can't do any digging. But there is one other thing I want to show you on here. When I first converted this over to the off-the-shelf uh, ESCs, I used the magnetic um, limit switches that are built into this, and I created a circuit board that would allow it to work but it was a circuit board with relays. And it worked mediocre, but occasionally the diodes would crap out or one of the relays would crap out. 
So I got tired of dealing with it. So I screwed on external limit switches. So when I needed the bucket to stop, the small arm to stop at the minimum and at the maximum. And then I had a couple here for the big arm, but eventually they kind of crapped out, but the big arm wasn't as big of a problem. So I still have a Volvo excavator considering turning it hydraulic, especially now that they have a full arm the entire arm assembly along with the pump and everything that I can just remove this stuff pop that in with four bolts and plug them into their board and it's just plug and play ready to go in under an hour so that's about 1200 bucks but I'm still considering it so just wanted to put out a video about the Volvo it still exists and there's still hope for it in the future if you like what you see click like and I'll show you stuff later.